Hello, everybody. This is John once again with Green Thumbs Chronicles. Today, I'm going to do a quick video on how to root uh, slips for your sweet potatoes. So I just wanted you to know and just see there's a comparison that I haven't seen done yet. So I thought I'd try it myself. Um, ambient lighting. Well, ambient lighting is your lighting that you get in your home from your lights. So I took several potato slips, sweet potato slips, and I doused them in root grow hormone and put them on the counter here where really there's very little light coming in from the windows. It's mostly ambient light. Now this Cuban oregano plant that was left out in the sun after it was cut for about two or three hours, still trying to pick itself up, but it doesn't look like it's doing too bad. I don't think it's getting any worse. Um, the Ariga palm, which I believe this just had a little stub at the bottom here, like you see, no roots, but it's growing a panicle in the center. So that's aquaponic, I believe it's what you call it, when it grows in water. And uh, the other part of the experiment, which I will show you, is to put the slips directly into the light on one of my shelves here in my living room. And there it is. Also has rooting hormone at the base of it. Um, now I will show you the reason why I did this experiment is because I do have the slips also in soil. Now this is the backyard that I'm trying to turn into a tropical oasis. Certainly does take a long time. So I took some potato slips that I was growing, sweet potato slips once again, right here. And I cut them into this nice raised bed that I made out of bamboo, just to let you know. You know, when you see something take that kind of a shock, and it looks like it's wilting, it's been two days now. Just doesn't seem like it might pick up the way you'd like it to. But they say in two to three weeks, those potato slips will come back up strong. And within six weeks, they will start taking over the, the bed that I created here. So we'll see how that comes out. I just thought I'd give you this quick preview. And I'll give you the results uh, as, I, you know, what happens how it turns out, whether it's ambient lighting or otherwise. So these potato slips here came from a potato that I just buried, a sweet potato. These seem to be so much healthier. They are also sweet potato slips from a sweet potato that I cut in half. And uh, so I'm not sure why the difference. Much larger stems, as you can see than the regular sweet potatoes that I just buried the potatoes. You can see the potatoes right there. This is a cut in half potato. So I'm not sure why, but boy, they look strong. That's it guys for today. Quick comparison and I'll get with you and let you know how it works out. 